We're getting breaking news coming in at the quake epicenter, Bad Park Village. Army helicopter have spotted approximately 150 bodies. Relief team sir, have immediately heli lifted these bodies. Four advanced light helicopters and two cheetah helicopters inducted in Pukhra by the army. Eight medical teams, including three field hospitals. Six ambulances now operational to provide rescue and emergency medical help. Five JCB, JCBs, which are practically earth movers, have also been inducted to help in digging the rubble and locate people trapped. Ten satellite phones inducted along with five high-frequency communication equipment has all been pressed into action. I want to cut across for the latest uh, heartbreaking update coming in uh, um, to our strategic affairs editor, Gaurav Savant, who's joining us from the newsroom. You know, Gaurav, Sadly, these reports will now only keep filtering in as rescue operations go beyond the realms of Kathmandu. You're spot on there, Preeti. In fact, this is the first time that an army team has been able to reach the epicenter of this earthquake in Lamjung. Uh, Barpak is that village and at this Barpak village, virtually everything has been flattened to the ground and these helicopters which were flying extremely low, uh, approximately 150 bodies were counted and this is where the main effort now is being made to ensure one that there is no epidemic that starts off and two if people are still surviving uh, they should be rescued from the rubble uh, in Barpak uh, uh, what the army has done is they've heli lifted teams to this area for perhaps mass cremation of these bodies that have been located and to right. rescue as many people as they can you know the, Gaurav you know yes. as as this tragedy unfolds right now and we are tracking it so closely uh, this incident coming in of 150 bodies in one village uh, how many such bodies would be there because right now massive reportage with what is coming in is just been Katpandu. the actual extent of this tragedy is just beyond of what we are actually expecting isn't it well, Kathmandu is extremely densely populated, so very high casualties in Kathmandu. But even in these areas, and especially places like Barpak, uh, in Lamjung area, in this Gorkha region, uh, this is where the epicenter was. Now, there are some villages that uh, army friends in the army say, which, which are not even on the map, but they exist on ground. So, this is where uh, the army is also sending out unmanned aerial vehicles, because everywhere a helicopter cannot go. Uh, so, in, in some places, UAVs are being sent out to just know the extent of damage and then know where best emergency services need to be sent on priority. Now, Brigadier, there's a Brigadier Rank Officer, Brigadier Gamlin, he's been deputed in Barpak. He will stay put at Barpak and coordinate all operations from there. A field hospital is being set up at Barpak itself. So, close to the epicenter, not everyone needs to rush to Kathmandu, treat them in Barpak and if required, get them to India. So, that is what the Army intends to do. Have a senior officer on ground zero, have a senior orthopedic surgeon, field hospital, ambulances, Mm -hmm. uh, helicopters all closer to you know, the epicenter. Gaurav, uh, very quickly, you know what the point that you made is quite interesting because there is such a crunch where Kathmandu is concerned where health facilities are at play. Uh, there is now it seems an effort to bring those who've been rescued who are uh, you know uh, uh, injured to India now is that is that what we're working on? Only, only in cases of emergencies that cannot be dealt with in Nepal, they would be brought to India. Only those, that level of emergency. Uh, there is a contingency in place, but okay. as of now, they will be treated there. But the stranded people, uh, not everyone can be flown into India, given the congestion at the Kathmandu airport. Today, eight flights from, from India had okay. to be sent back because of the congestion. So, stranded passengers will be sent back by the land route, okay. uh, either to Raksol or to Gorakhpur.